everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I thought today that we would play around with a little bit of a different project using a bunch of your scrappy supplies. And this is something that would be really fun to do with your kids or with your family with Valentine's Day coming up. They definitely don't have to be Valentine's Day fortune cookies is what we're going to make, um, but they certainly can be. So you only need a couple of supplies, and these are so easy, you guys. So you need some fun foam, and you want the kind that is not sticky. So you can pick this up at Walmart, the dollar store, Target, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. And I've just pulled out some Valentine's Day colors. And then you're either gonna want some little like sticky squares like these from scrapbook.com. Um, Thermoweb has some that are called Zots. Something like that you could use even um, a like low heat glue gun, anything like that. Or you can use a stapler or a tiny attacher. You're gonna want some little phrases or fortunes to put inside your fortune cookies. And this is actually a printable on the blog that you can go ahead and print a copy. And there are some blank ones if you wanna make up some of your own. And then I'm gonna show you a way you can use stamping if you want to like give your kids a chance to spice it up and make it their own. So very first thing I'm gonna do here is cut out one of my strips that I wanna use. And I could certainly do this on my paper trimmer and cut them all out at once. But I'm just gonna use one. So I have my one little fortune that's gonna go inside my cookie. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take, this is just a lid to like a canister in my kitchen. It has a diameter of about four and a half inches, but you can make these whatever size you want. And then you're gonna grab a piece of your foam. So I'm just gonna flip this over so it gives me something to trace. And so you could definitely do this with a stencil. You could cut this um, on your die cut machine if you have circle dies, anything like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out. And I'm gonna cut right to the inside because I don't want that purple line I just made to show. It doesn't have to be an exact size. You can definitely make different size little fortune cookies if you want. All right, so I think these are gonna be so fun. If you're having everybody together for dinner, you could have one of these at every place setting at dinner. Super cute. Okay, so now these are super easy, you guys. You're gonna basically fold it in half and then fold it in half again, okay? So we kinda wanna know where that center point is gonna be. So we fold and fold. And then you're just gonna take your little fortune and put it right in the middle and fold it back up. Now this open end where both of the two sides are open is where we want to have that either the glue or the staple. If you're gonna use a staple, you wanna make sure you get your little phrase out of the way so it doesn't get stuck. Or we can take one of our little sticky squares. And we'll just grab one of these. And we're gonna stick these two sides together. I'm gonna put my little sticky square in there and pinch my sides of my cookie together. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top flap and it's gonna fold over backwards. And this is what's gonna make it look like a fortune cookie. And you just wanna kinda of play around with it to get it in the shape that you want. And that's it. We have a cute little fortune cookie that can sit on the table like in the place settings or if you have, like if you're giving somebody um, a little bit of chocolate for Valentine's Day, you could lay a couple of these in the top. And that's really all there is to it. So that one little sticky dot is gonna hold these completely together and make our little fortune cookie. So that's it, easy peasy. All you need is that fun foam, your sticky squares, and then this cuttable printable that has all the phrases. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy, you could absolutely take a stamp with some permanent ink and you could have your kiddo take your foam, 
going to show you on a little corner of it here. But take your foam and stamp. This one's kind of dry here, guys. But stamp little hearts to spice up that foam so that when you fold it up, it has some little heart details all around it. You could also do like an XOXO. You could do the word love. Any kind of stamp that you have around. Give this to your kids. Give them the circles. Let them stamp to their heart's content. And then you will have a fortune cookie to open up and get your fortune. So I hope you enjoyed something just a little bit different. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody.